Now, all of this comes as visitors head to downtown Indianapolis this weekend with the return of youth sports tournaments. Now, this is the first big event Indy has hosted since the start of this pandemic. We've got our Mary Mills joining us live today near the convention center. She's telling us how they're keeping everyone safe, even with the bells going off right now, Mary. <laughs> That's right. They are doing everything from for one. They're trying to keep things small here, but they're also trying to keep the convention center as clean as they can. They say the real thing about this uh, event, though, is showing everyone else that Indy's back in the game. <laughs> it's something we haven't seen since mid-March. Groups of people in and around the Indiana Convention Center. This is big, an event to bounce back and help us get back on track. It's not a huge event, but one that has nearby hotels finally welcoming guests. Roughly 9,000 people are here for the Tournament of Champions. It's an AAU girls basketball tournament, always held in Chicago, but forced to move because of COVID-19 restrictions there. Because of the pandemic, it's much smaller this year, down from 30,000. The goal here was not to have the most people, it was to accommodate teams safely. There are 33 sealed off exhibit halls now used for courts. Each space limited to 250 people, with every person counted as they come and go. How many do you have? 24. Masks must be worn at all times, except by players on the court. There are one way halls and constant cleaning of doors, handles, and railings. Still, as the signs say, everyone enters at their own risk. We remind people that if you don't think you should be playing here because of risk, then please don't come. I mean, there's always reservations. But she and others we talk to also say they feel good about the precautions taken and want to be here. At some point, you just have to say, hey, deal what, with what are you going to do? Yeah. And for the kids, I mean, that's what we do as parents. Yeah. The mental aspect of everything being canceled and everything being shut down, it was, it was invaluable for these girls to get to come and do what they've been working so hard to try and do. And the economic impact is said to be about $8 million. Not a lot by other standards, but at least it's a start. Chris Gall says the best part is simply having people inside the convention center and seeing them in hotels and restaurants. Scott? Yeah, it's nice to have that activity back in our city on this Friday night, Mary. Thanks.